because I haven't been on live, so you guys are going to get it first, and then it'll be aired on YouTube. But I need you guys to hear me. If you can, grab a pen and paper. You should already have it in your altar. You should already have it in your place where you're seated. And you come every morning. <clears throat> we have, for those of you, drop a two in the chat if this weekend your body felt off. You felt off. You either slept all day, things taste different, look different. Something is just different and you can't put your finger on it. Drop a two in the chat. Something has shifted and you're not sure, but you know something has shifted. Headaches, nausea, ear ringing real loud. I mean, like almost debilitating where you got to stop and kind of like put your finger in your ear. The, the, the sound of waves really strong. Okay, so that's the majority of us. Perfect. So this weekend, we quantum jumped and time jumped. Now just follow me. There's a huge jump that happened. I told you September 23rd was huge. Comet was supposed to hit the sun. Solar flares were supposed to be off the chain. Solar flares, the sun has power. That's why they worship it. Everything under God has power. And what happened this weekend was a phenomenon. Your body experienced it. Your body felt it. I'm literally a year ahead. I looked up Sukkot this morning and I was in 2024. And I was just like, the end of October? We're not going to the end. I was so lost until I said, wait, hold up. This is 2023. I already know what that means. I'm, I'm literally a year in a, ahead. But I want to explain to you, give you instructions on how to handle this so that you don't go backwards, so that you stay on this new pathway. You were accelerated. I told you he was accelerating us. I told you we received acceleration when I saw the day cloud, night cloud, day cloud, night cloud, either yesterday or the day before. I said, I saw it. I don't know what that means, but in my mind's eye, I literally saw like in a movie when they speed up and it's like day one, day two, day three, day four, and it goes really fast and you just see night clouds, day clouds, night clouds. That's what I saw. We all accelerated. We all time jumped, okay? Um, these are your instructions. You must deactivate and dismantle your current realm, okay? Your current realm that's in front of you. And rest assured that you are now walking in heaven on earth. It is no more thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven. It is, you are walking right now as it is in heaven it is on earth and you have to accept it and keep it moving no vacillating between the two i don't care what you see you have to now establish the order of your heaven on earth you have to do that establish it as a king you speak and you decree and it is established you decree a thing and it is established okay Speak and it's done. Do not deviate from it no matter what you see or experience or feel. It's a lie and it's an illusion. Period. The end. If it's heaven on earth, it works. If it's heaven on earth, it flows. If it's heaven on earth, it's good. Period. Okay? Don't accept what the enemy brings and throws at you. That is not my portion. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. That's not mine. I'm walking in heaven on earth, and that's not supposed to happen while I'm in heaven on earth. That's your mindset. That's how you talk. Um, you need to accept that it looks the way it looks for right now because the old has got to catch up and pass away. I've told you guys this before. When you speak a thing, speak a thing, speak a thing for three, four days, you'll start to see a glimpse of it trying to come into you. You'll see like, oh, somebody just blessed me. And then boom, your bank account. Or, oh, somebody did this. And then boom, you get in trouble with whatever. Because it's trying to break through. It's going to look a certain way. Accept that. It's just still my old plan out. 
my new has to manifest my new has to break through and then it has to be established and then i have to walk in it and i have to accept it know the process know that it's not just boom 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 no it's okay you're now heaven on earth it is what it is accept it establish it so that means every area of your life to establish you got to decree your finances look like this you got to decree your love life looks like this you got to decree that this you have to set things in motion with your mouth okay accept that it looks the way it looks right now so whatever it looks like right now okay it still looks like that but it won't look like that for long and devil and satan lucifer the kingdom agents the entities you better get me now because if you don't get me now it's, it's a wrap because I'm in my Job second half era where everything was double and everything was given back to me and you couldn't touch him after that. You couldn't touch Esther after she became queen. You couldn't kill her with the decree because she was able to overrule it because she found favor and grace. You couldn't take touch uh, Ruth after she became queen or, or the mother of, of the lineage of Yeshua HaMashiach. There is a season where you cannot be touched and we've entered that. There is a season where you're so protected that nothing can touch you, okay? And that's what we've entered into. But you got to accept that and you got to believe that and that's it. That's it. Once you believe it, that's it. You got to keep your heart in alignment with heaven. You, these are things you have to do. God's already done it. It's already here. You got to ask wisdom to help <clears throat> you keep your heart in alignment at all times with heaven. Get engage wisdom as off when you see yourself veering off when you see yourself looking at the old and embracing the old uh, 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 wisdom I need you to help me pull me back help me keep my heart in alignment with heaven at all times because whatever it is in heaven it's got to be on earth because I'm the conduit and it flows through me ask wisdom to give you uncanny amounts of discipline you're going to need discipline I told you that like nothing else uncanny amounts of discipline to not react or be moved by the natural breaking down and any setbacks you physically see you look at it and say that's because you're breaking down you look at it and you, you make excuses for why it's doing it on the positive that's because you're no longer a part of my world that's because i quantum leap that's because i time jumped into a new pathway that you don't belong so you have to break down and when things break down it's a little chaotic and that's fine that's okay and keep it moving. That's exactly how you look at it from now on. And you keep it moving. And the next thing is you have to ask wisdom to give you a heart of a champion that knows who they are and never will quit on themselves. Not God. You. We talked about this yesterday. You don't quit on yourself. You don't keep lying to yourself. You hold yourself accountable to yourself. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're going to lose weight, do it. If you say you're going to eat a different way, do it. Own yourself. Own your own accountability. The next set. Ask wisdom to give you the mind of a king and an emperor. You engage wisdom and say, give me the mind of a king and an emperor to know how to act like an emperor, to know how to act like a king. If your emperor has not been fully activated, you're still a king. Help me act, talk, be, walk, look like a king. Help me if you're in the emperor stage, there's only a few of you. Help me act talk be like let me change my entire stance my entire aura my entire way of doing things help me exude being a king or an emperor you can't establish it if you ain't walking in it it's not gonna work to establish it you gotta walk in it you gotta own it so what that means for many of you who are givers many of you have a huge heart the main thing you're gonna have to learn to do as a king and an emperor is learn to receive and learn to be served in the natural. Let others serve you. That's hard for givers. That's real hard for givers. But that's the cycle of life. If you can't give, you can't get. If you can't receive, you can't give. You stop it. You stifle it. So continue changing. You have to ask wisdom to continue changing your outer appearance, your wardrobe to match the new level, your mind, your hair, your skin, your body, your voice, your tone. A complete overhaul, the way you talk, look, think, etc. To match this new leap. We leaped. And I don't even think it's just a year because our time is not his timing. I just, I, I'm just giving it a 2024. I know I am not here in this 2023. Nothing is the same. I slept, I was under the bed on Sunday. Woke up, went to sleep. 
woke up, went to sleep, woke up, went to sleep. Literally. And then went back to sleep throughout the night. No problem. Okay? The biggest thing that you have to do is get ready for people to tend to your needs. That's the difference between a king, an emperor, and us, the old us. Anything that dares to come into your new realm, that's old. That don't belong. You don't belong here. Debt doesn't belong here. Scarcity doesn't belong here. And I don't mean just finances. I'm talking mindset. There is no such thing as scarcity in heaven. That's what you say to whatever comes in. Oh, there's not enough room for you on that platform. Oh, there's not enough room for you to be on that. But oh, there's not. No, trust me. There's room. Oh, I lost something. Trust me. Nothing is lost in heaven. I need you to shift with me. Shift and know that there is no scarcity. There is no lack in heaven. What cannot stand in heaven cannot stand in your world anymore. So any demonic entity that dares to enter, you can't stand here no more. You're not welcome here. You are not welcome. You can't come. You're not welcome. I will not allow you because I walk in heaven's footsteps. I walk in cadence with heaven. Okay? The biggest thing is to be served. I'm telling you and I'm warning you. Givers and leaders, it's hard for us to receive. Okay? Don't say no, don't say, oh, yeah. No, no. Wisdom, break that off of me. Wisdom, help me receive right now so that you're able to receive from anyone lower than you, higher than you, equal than you. I can receive. I am receptive. I will receive my blessings however they come, whatever they look like. Okay? Get ready for people to tend to your needs and serve you, not only in the spiritual realm, but definitely in the natural realm, okay? This whole process that I got this morning, probably about an hour ago, because I couldn't even go back to sleep, was because I'm going to go football on you guys, and I know many of you aren't football, but hear me out. Hold on one second. Oops. Um, I'm going to go football real quick because I need you guys to hear this. Oh. Okay. I need, I'm going to go football because I need y'all to hear this. So, I have been... I watch football. Many of you guys know that. And... Deion Sanders, who's an ex-football player, is now a coach. And this man is shaking up the entire football scene. And I'm watching it through spiritual eyes. I'm watching it because I know that's what's on my life. Um, He went from playing in the league to coaching his kids to an HBCU, for those who aren't in America, all-black school, college. And now he's in a predominantly white school that brings in, you know, African-Americans and other races to play sports on scholarship. And he is shaking up the place. He's on TV and he was one in 11 last year. Okay. That's a horrible record. Not him, but the school this year, he's three and one. He was three and oh, the first three games of the year. He won out. Okay. This is unheard of. This is uncanny. He has a gift and I seen it and I didn't know what it was. So this whole time I'm watching it, every Saturday I'm watching him play and I'm like, God, what is it about this man? Like, yes, he's he's African American. Yes, he's very um, flamboyant, not in a bad way, but he was he's been that way. That's who he is, even when he played, even when he was in college and when he was in the NFL, the, the league, the professional league. But there's just something about his presence. So um, this weekend when he played, for those of you who know sports, even if you've never played it, you're going to understand this when I say it. The entire collegiate athletes, the entire collegiate, and um, I can't even talk, the entire um, NCAA, so these are all college level coaches. A good amount of them, my husband told me, got together to give the other team insight 
to beat him. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's unheard of. And if it happened before, it was never exposed. But because of what's on his life, it was exposed within three days. Saturday was a game. My husband said it was exposed last night. He was listening to it. Coaches call the other coach and say, hey, you can do this, you can beat him. Hey, if you do this, you can beat him. That's unheard of. And that coach, they wanted to humiliate him. They wanted to drag him. The score was 45 to 6. And the coach said, we're not done yet at halftime. They did trick play after trick play. And I watch football. I've always watched football. And when they did the first trick play, I was just like, that's a little rude. And not rude as in the typical rude, but my Caribbean folks, you understand what I mean? That was rude. It was almost like egg in your face. Like, yeah, we can do this because we can't. We just going to trample. It was rude. You don't do a trick play until the game is on the line. They did it in the first quarter with like five minutes in. I was just like, something's off with this coach. I'm not feeling him. So just to give you a little backstory. So last night when my husband told me that, I said, God, mm -mm." I said, wisdom, show me what's on his life. Look, once you show me how to work with something, it's a wrap. That's my best friend. I'm using it for everything. I don't know about you guys. But wisdom answers everything I need. Once I had that dream, it was a wrap. So I went to sleep and I had, and and somebody came to me. I don't know who. They didn't announce themselves. They just walked up to me and this is what they said. He has done his purpose and he is a king. I said, oh, okay, that makes sense. His purpose was to place eyes on his program and to bring in recruits it's expensive to recruit you gotta go travel you gotta send your people out you gotta beg people to come to your school dang near he doesn't have to do that his school was 1 in 11 even though it wasn't him his school was 1 in 11 the year before that he took over and he's on TV every Saturday I said, oh my God, this dude is genius. It says at the end of the year, he would have accomplished his job getting people to see his program and what they they come to get from him. And he's a king. I said, so let me tell you now. He keeps saying, we're going to be the best. And he doesn't budge. They lost. He goes, we got our butts whooped. Yes, we did. There's one game. You better get me now. You better get me now. Because in a year, I'm not going to be the same team. You better get me now. Get me while I'm down. Get me while I have these kids that I have now that I had to keep on this team that I couldn't get rid of. Hear how he talks. Then this week, earlier in the week, I watched One Piece because my youngest likes that type of anime and I'd watch it to pre-scan it so I could fast forward and delete and all that stuff while I'm watching it with him and there's four kids in it and at the interesting not sure what that was at the end of the movie they all said the same thing from when they were young if anyone's seen it I forget, Luffy, the main character, said, I'm going to be the king of pirates from when he was like six. So at the end of the movie, they take him back to where he was six. And he goes, I'm going to be the king of pirates. And he's the king of pirates in real life. The girl who puts her foot on the table says, I'm going to be a map builder. When she was five, they took us back to when she was five. And then they brought us back to reality where she's an adult and she's a map maker. And then the other one, um, he said, I'm going to be the best swordsman ever took him back to when he was like six and he was in training and they brought us back to real they said it and they never deviated from it from when they were little until now every one of the people on his crew and I watched them I said I stopped my kids and I said do you see that you need to know what you want to do and what you want to be not need to know but if you already know then start speaking it and I don't care what anyone says 
that because every one of them they were like whatever whatever the boy luffy with the king of the pirates they were like you're gonna be a marine you're not gonna be a pirate and he was just like that's not my place i know what i'm supposed to be same thing in one week he keeps speaking what he is going to do he keeps telling these people who this team is going to be in the face of adversity of losing a horrible loss but for them to try to embarrass him I was like you're already doing your job you're already disrupting the entire space to loop that back around to where we are if you don't know what you are called to do when the wind blows while you are literally walking on heaven's cadence on earth you will miss it I don't care what it looks like today at whatever time it is 4.06 a.m. central time you are now synced with heaven we quantum leaped we time jumped you felt it I asked you before I said this you felt it you experienced it you didn't know what it was. I'm giving you what it is. I'm telling you what happened. Even my husband said, I said, how did you feel with what happened? And he said, I actually kind of felt like, am I in a different dimension? And I looked at him and I was like, what? He's like, yeah. People that are in tune and not in tune felt it this weekend. It was heavy, heavy, dense energy a lot of uprooting a lot of sadness a lot of things we had to face a lot of true true between friday and sunday something crazy happened in your life that you had to face and you had to choose am i going to be the old me or maybe the new me and i'm going to respond the way i normally respond or i'm going to respond the way i need to respond am i going to do good or am i going to stay in the same place between friday and sunday and you chose to level up and that's your reward this is the reward not everybody chose properly not everybody chose correctly so I'm telling you right now I need you to constantly envision heaven on earth on this path to attract all the abundance and prosperity that belongs to you and know that all good things, all of your divine doors are open now. And how you feel is going to produce the thoughts, the consciousness, the current thoughts that go through and flow through you. Stay in the love dimension, no matter what. We've been working on that for almost a year now. For those of you who've been following me on my YouTube on Clubhouse. And the last thing, I want you to make this an alert. I am prosperous. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in season, in this season. And my leaves shall not wither and whatsoever I do, it shall be prosperous on this pathway. I am prosperous, I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruits in this season. My leaves shall not wither and whatsoever I do, it shall be prosperous in this pathway. The only thing you need to take away from this morning and this moment after our worship time is I'm walking in heaven. I'm walking in cadence with heaven. 
I am walking in cadence with heaven. I am walking in cadence with heaven. And heaven is perfect and it is good. And I'm in my Job era. Where he got everything back. And the enemy was nowhere to be found. Where Ruth got married and came up from gleaning to owning. Esther went from an orphan to a key queen, okay, who had authority. We're not in that season anymore. So don't accept it, don't act like it, don't dress like it. Take off those clothes. Whatever you need to take off, take it off spiritually and take it off in the natural. Pack up some stuff, throw away some stuff, Gut out your house that reminds you of the old. Anything that can remind you of the old, get rid of it. And ask, I ask wisdom to show us what we need to get rid of. That will consistently keep us bound or keep us tied to the old pathway. Because it's non-existent. And I also ask wisdom as we engage it right now to crumble the old pathway quicker. I give you permission, wisdom. To show me how to crumble the old pathway quicker than it should happen. So that I can quickly transition fully into this new pathway of walking in cadence with heaven on the earth. Amen. Amen. Does anybody have anything they want to share? or add I'm done yeah yeah this weekend was rough real rough it was like an attack and then your body just tried to break down yes it was rough Mm-hmm. Yep, the headache, the ringing. My daughter even stopped and said, oh, no. I said, what's wrong? She goes, my ears. I can't take it. She's the only one. My oldest had headaches. The youngest, he slept. So even in your kids, you notice something this weekend. Animals. Your husband slept. Amen. 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 <sighs> you're welcome, you're welcome. So, it's going to continue. Absolutely amazing. Yes, ma'am, it was. Um, so, be aware. We shifted, but things are still happening. Um, things are still happening. So, stay in tune. Stay prayed up. Um until you fully integrate and anchor uh, what I taught you about an anchor anchor this new pathway it's got to be anchored okay um, to where you are able to see the shift with your natural eyes and engage wisdom but anchor in this new pathway I don't know if there's a certain amount of time we have to anchor it in. If I find out, if I get that, I'll let you know. But you got to anchor it in because it's fleeting. Because if you continue to be the old you, 
If you continue to go back to the old you, you will forfeit it easily. If you didn't do it this weekend, you may have missed it. I'm just, I'm just stating the facts. Um, because you had to be in tune and you had to be able to flow with it. That's why I posted in the app, how is everybody feeling? Some people responded and I gave them advice on what to do to make sure that they flowed in it. You had to react a certain way this weekend. It was a one day thing. You had to react a certain way. Like me and my accountability slept all day. She's like, what does that mean? Did we miss it? I was like, no, our body, we did what our body needed. It was so high for us that, I mean, I this it was i don't know how many of you guys are moms on here maybe more than half of us but it's that pregnancy sleep where you just like d-e-a-d to the world like under the bed (laughs) that kind of sleep and i know i'm not that to the point where it was just like i couldn't open my eyes to save my life i said forget it why are you even trying just go back just go sleep just stay asleep Your body clearly wants to sleep. And that's when I checked in on everybody to see how you were feeling. um, To make sure you guys did what you needed to do. And acknowledge a lot of triggers came up. Like I said, some people in the app were like, I feel sad. I feel this. Um, Some people DM'd me privately and said, this is just not. And it was because you had to face that. You had to face that. And you had to respond and react the opposite or that was going to attach itself whatever you did not react opposite to it attached itself to this new and you will see it again but if you did what you were supposed to and you listened to the instructions and the warnings that I gave you then you reacted you responded the way you were supposed to it cannot find an attachment so it cannot latch on to your new so yes We need to make sure that um, we are anchoring this in. You anchor it by love. You anchor it by anything else that pops up. You don't belong here. You, You know where you are. You know where you are now. No, you don't belong here. Scarcity in my heart, in my love life, in my, as a mother, I am not less than, none of that. No, you can't stay. No. I'm not even going to give you space. I'm not even going to entertain you. I'm not even going to let you change my emotions about it. You don't belong here. So you got to go. Period. The end. Um, So anchor it in. Pull it in and make it your reality. Those by your thoughts and everything I just gave you. Okay. Salute, world changers, and thank you so much for listening in on the All Experience 2024 5784 Heaven on Earth. I wanted to bless you with that. As I said, I normally do not give anybody that's on the outside of the All Experience insight, but this one, I had to release it. So on top of that, I want to give you a brief introduction reintroduction into our world changer strategy day that is actually happening this october 6th that you don't want to miss our world changer strategy day is like none other imagine an innovated reimagined version of your vision board goal setting mind mapping session But coming from a spiritual perspective where you are placing your visions, your goals, you are adding a supernatural special rules and regulations order and plan in place for the entire year. I teach you how to put it in place, how to interact with your angels, how to use your angels and how to create a perfect directive plan according to God for your life so that as you walk, you don't have to add these declarations. You don't have to add these rules and regulations. They're already in place and your angels already know what to do. See, a lot of you have not grown up understanding the power of interacting, one, speaking, two, and listening to your angels. I'm going to show you how to use your angels as a special ops team. They're actually called your spiritual tactical team. STT, where they treat you like a celebrity and they are your bodyguard. They do anything you need your bidding as long as it is lined up with your purpose. Why do we do this and why now? Because the Hebraic calendar, as you know, shifts the civil year from the number to the next year, as in 
December 31st to January 1st. So we literally just crossed from 2023 to 2024, which is 5784 in the Hebraic calendar. We in the World Changer community, if you've been following us, we honor both. Gregorian and the Hebraic calendar. And as we start another significant year, uh, which started in September, I want to help you put things in motion. This strategy day is like no other. This is our first annual strategy day for the Hebraic calendar and the first ever of me introducing to you, my community, the spiritual tactical team. It's time to walk heavy in the spirit. It's time to understand that your spiritual tactical team don't play about you. And when you use these tools and use these rules and regulations that I'm going to teach you how to pray declarations, we're going to go through trauma, release the trauma. You have to release trauma from your life from the last season to enter in and cross into a new high elevated season. And that's why many of you consistently keep bouncing back and forth between a new season and an old season. You see something new breaking forth, but then the old takes over. That's trauma and you're being triggered. So I want you to understand that we're coming from a spiritual perspective so that your visuals, your vision board, your goal setting is laid out for the entire year. And when you walk into a setting, a room, a situation, a collaboration, and your spiritual team escorts you out of there or it abruptly shuts down, you will understand why. I will explain that in the actual workshop. So I hope you are hearing what I'm saying. I'm giving you a blueprint so that you cannot fail. You've officially entered into a new season, a new era of your life where you are in your dimensional, multi-dimensional glow up era and you can't fail and everything is rigged in your favor. And this is one of the ways it's absolutely rigged in your favor. So I hope to see you on October 6th. In the comments below, there is a link where you can literally click on it, read up a little bit about it, which is a little more details, and register. Save your seat, secure your seat, share this with people. I promise you, your world will never be the same. I promise you that you will get insight on how angels, angels aren't just messengers. Angels fight for you. Angels bring stuff to you. Angels remove things out of your way. Angels make sure that you stay aligned with God. And they're there for a reason. They're there for a season. And I'm going to tell you, they need to be spoken to. They hearken unto the words that come out of your mouth that are aligned with the words in your book. I will teach you. I will show you all of this. Hopefully, I will see you there. I'm looking forward to teaching you how to make sure that your spiritual tactical team helps you walk heavy in the realm of the spirit and in the natural where nobody will ever dare try to reverse, swindle, overlook you ever again. Thank you for joining. Have an amazing day.